Now, some things that give discus a bad reputation. The first thing is if you're keeping discus, you wanna keep plenty of them. If you walk up to an aquarium with lots of discus in it, you'll find they'll all run up to the front. If you walk up to an aquarium with not many discus in it, you'll find they'll often flee to the back of the aquarium. They're also quite a flighty fish, so try and make sure that you don't have really sharp rocks or something they can snag themselves on. Also, a lot of breeders or people in the industry feed them mammalian products like ox heart and beef heart and lamb heart and stuff like that. It's very bad and fatty for their liver and I do not recommend doing that. Um, in the wild, these feed on very low nutrient um, foodstuffs like amphipods and copepods that, um, that crawl along the driftwood mainly at night. So I would just be feeding them good quality, not fully digestible foods like Danichi or probiotics from New Life Spectrum. A lot of food is just processed crap in a can. A little bit of bloodworms would be okay. So watching what you feed them, also feeding them more regularly than once a day is helpful because in the wild, they tend to feed all night and they'll eat small amounts regularly. So they'll just pick off the um, amphipods and so forth on the driftwood. Now, another thing is water flow. Some people seem to be under the impression that you don't want to have much water flow. Whereas actually dissolved oxygen level and redox potential and water flow is actually very important for discus. If you look at videos of the discus in the wild, you'll see they're often having to swim very much just to even stay still. So having good water flow, feeding them good quality um, um, nutrient food, which is not super high in protein. So none of your mammalian products and not just feeding bloodworms or something like that, which make the animal look nice, look big, look strong, but they'll have basically no immune system. The other thing is make sure your temperature's on the warm side. So I want sort of 28, 30 degrees is definitely gonna help them. And then you wanna have the pH on the low side, so under seven, but at the same time, you need to keep an eye on the KH. You do not wanna run a KH of zero. So make sure your KH is at least sort of one or two. So once again, if you slowly introduce discus to your aquarium and you see that they're responding very well, then it's all good. On the other hand, if you see their behavior is irregular, or if you see fighting, or if you see they're hiding a lot, or if you see they're not um, feeding well, then make sure you grab your phone, make a little video of the aquarium running, show us in the cupboard any bits and pieces you've got for the aquarium, and bring down a sample of water. And we can check that sample of water, we can have a look at the video, and then we can um, advise you on what to do next. But discus are basically not as hard to keep as people think. But if any of these things are occurring, such as feeding them the wrong foods, such as not having enough of them, such as not having enough water flow, um, all of these are, are factors that can make these animals harder to keep. Also watching what you keep with them. So trying not to keep anything too flighty and definitely watch things like sucking cats that might suck on the side of the fish. So observation is definitely key. And if you just watch them and you care about them, then you come down and see us if you um, are worried about anything at all. Worming um, wild caught ones is something else to make sure you're aware of.